Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West. I hope you're having a great day and all is well. Hey, what I'd like to do in this video is I'd like to demonstrate how you can perform one machining operation to profile at different Z levels. For example, if we take a look at this part, if I wanted to profile the bottom of this boss, uh, this edge along the cutout, and let's say the very bottom of the part, well, typically to do that, we'd go into our stock tool pass and we perform a separate profiling operation for each group of geometry. And that's going to end up with three profile commands over here within the toolpath group. Well, what I want to do is I want to demonstrate how you can use one machining operation to profile multiple Z depths. So first of all, we need to create some wireframe geometry. We can easily do that within one CNC by heading over into our command manager, select model tools, and I'm going to use extract surface edges. That's going to allow me to take my cursor hover over a surface and then just left hand mouse click. I'm going to do the same here with a left click. Let's rotate our view a little bit and let's left click the bottom surface there. When we're done we're going to right hand mouse click and you can see all this nice wireframe blue geometry that 1CNC has created. Alright so now for the toolpath. How do we do that? Well let's head back over to the command manager. We're going to go into our stock toolpaths but instead of using the profile command we're going to use the corner rounding command. Now why are we doing that? Well the corner rounding command will allow you to select multiple shapes at different Z levels. Alright so let's demonstrate. Let's start with the boss. I'm going to start here and notice how my cursor has changed to the word start. I'm going to take my cursor, I'm going to left click here and now I'm going to left click that arrow because I want a climb cut on the outside. So I'm going to left click. Let's rotate our view a little bit and I'm going to left click right here telling 1CNC that that's the end of the profile. When I'm done I'm going to right hand mouse click and as soon as I do that the cursor changes back to the word start. We're going to come over here. Let's start here with the left click. Again I'm going to select that outside arrow. We're going to climb cut so left click. We're going to move our cursor all the way to the end and left click and when we're done we're going to right hand mouse click. Now once we right hand mouse click our cursor changes to back to the word start. I'm going to select this bottom profile now with the left click. I want to select that arrow because I want a climb cut on the outside with the left click. And a shortcut would be just hit the F3 key on the keyboard and that will select the rest of the geometry there at the bottom. When we're done we're going to right click and then here's our dialog box to define our tool. I already have a tool defined here, a half inch diameter end mill. I'm going to say the speeds and feeds look great so let's click next on that. Our clearance values look great. I have a rapid clearance plane of 200 thousandths. That looks fine. Let's click next on that. Now when you're in the corner rounding options, make sure that for geometry position you have number one selected. Number one outside edge. I don't want to leave any material around the outside. No, no offset toolpath. So I'm going to leave these both set to zero. We'll click next. And then for our lead in and lead out, I have this set up to perform a 45 degree arc with a 200 thousandths radius to approach and also to exit each one of those profiles. Let's click finish. Let 1CNC generate the toolpath. In fact, I'm going to pan the view over a little bit. And there we go. There is our toolpath at multiple Z levels, all done within one command. Now if we were to preview this, we can right hand mouse click, select preview toolpaths. And here we go. Here's our climb cut at the base of the boss. Wrap it up to clearance. We're going to wrap it down, arc on, profile that wall on that cut out there. And now we're going to arc on to the bottom profile, climb cut all the way around. And then when we're finished, we're going to arc off. All this performed within one command. Now, if the name of the command uh, throws you off because it says corner rounding, you can always double click on the machining operation and then over here where it says description you can always type in a different name. So for this I might type in something like profile multiple Z levels. When we're done we can click OK to that and now that has been renamed. You don't have to do that but it's a very powerful feature. All right, that's it for this video. Again, I hope you guys are having a great day. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.